for the poster and going to be six out. Maybe Zucker. Yeah, we're beating and banging here in the sportsman class. Still banging as we head there. Grapple going to work there. Oh, five wide for a moment through one and two. Back down to four and three wide. Up and two. What a showing. Go with me. You're going to call the first row with me, Hayden. The 99 is Dallas Williams. 99, Dallas Williams. And the outside of him, the 02 of Todd Caster. And the 02 of Tom Caster. All right, then you got the 14 Z yeah, of Sec Bales and the 01 of Derek Houston. David Miller and Kevin Brock make up your last row, and we're green right off the bat. As they head him down in there, it's going to be Zach Bales to the early lead track, still just a little bit on the greasy side. They're trying to slip slide and figure out their way through, but right now it is going to be actually David Miller takes over the lead, and we got three wide. We got Grandpa Gums, Kevin Brock, Todd Caster, Caster with problems and unfortunately he creates a bit of a parking lot as Dallas Williams involved and we have the old one Derek Houston that had to almost come to a complete stop to avoid him. Looks like the caution is going to come out though. That yeah, looks like the 14Z of Zach Bales. Uh, pro flat left rear tire. He stops at the entrance of turn number one. We got three big heats of Casey's General Stores Hobby Stocks tonight. It is going to be the 34M of David Miller with the lead, the 01B of Grandpa Gums Kevin Bruck in second. Then you've got the 01 of Derek Houston, 2T of Todd Caster. I'm sorry. Yeah, Todd Caster and then the 99 Dallas Williams. We're back to green, single file. And immediately, Kevin Brock jumps the inside of David Miller. They're going to tiptoe their way through one and two. And Kevin Brock, hard on the gas down the backstretch. He's going to take over the lead. Kevin Brock get out front. Like I said, it don't matter if the track's fast, ruddy, slow, anything. He's going to drive. Gets out front now, and him and David Miller trying to separate from the field. And what meanwhile, on the back of the field, the three are really working hard. They're trying to find a line that makes the car work. Derek, you said pushing up the track a little bit in third. Todd Caster going to go on the bottom. Todd Caster going to take that third spot as Derek Houston gets it back straight. But meanwhile, out in front, Kevin Bruck in that old one car. David Miller right behind him. You Todd guys Caster think trying to make his way through three and four along with uh, Derek Houston and Dallas Williams. You guys think that Craig Cliff retires a lot. Kevin Bruck retires at least three to four times a year, then comes back a couple weeks later with a new car. He uh, had a brand new car at the beginning of the year, sold it, retired, and came back with this right for the season finale in Denison a few weeks ago. And right now, two laps to go. He has got the lead in that car. Once again, David Miller second, Todd Caster third, Dallas Williams fourth, and the old one of Derek Houston rounding out that top five. Kevin Brock quit high school because they made him go outside for recess. He don't play. He's way out front now looking fine. All he has to do now is keep it straight. That could be hard for him. The 34 him and David Miller, but I don't I, I don't think any, I, they're gonna lap somebody in a heat race, it looks like. What do you think? Kevin Brooks still with the race lead as he's gonna come into turns three and four for the final time. David Miller still holds that second spot. Todd Caster in third, Dellis Williams fourth, and uh, Derek Husted at the back. Kevin Brook gonna take the checkered flag now. He will be your heat race and number one winner. So it's gonna be Kevin Brook. Grandpa Gums taking the win. David Miller second, third is going to be the 2T of Todd Caster. It's going to be a bit of a drag race for fourth and fifth. Derek Houston fourth, Dallas Williams going to come home in fifth. Interesting side note about uh, Kevin Brook. Cody Bulwer is going to start inside over row number three with uh, Rowan Mason in the 29 RD. In ah, the back. Rowan Mason coming up from the Lincoln, Nebraska area. Uh, fun kid to watch. I got to interview him before his uh, very first ever race uh, in 2018. Kid's got a lot of enthusiasm, has done well in that car. So we'll see how he does tonight. Right now we're green. It's going to be Justin Shirt out there with the advantage. Ryan Leadham jumps up in that second place spot. Justin Shirt with an early start. But it's up here kind of hard today with the sun in our eyes to see each other. We got uh, Aaron Shirt in the 58 going to the inside of him. He's going to get a good run. If you notice in the last heat race, they all ran around the bottom where the fast guys were. The guys up in the middle and the high, they're going to just float up there. 
but Aaron Schoen's going to lead the first lap. Aaron Schoen still with the race lead. Justin Schoen in second. Ryan Leadham is going to be in third. Rowan Mason in fourth. And then uh, Mike Hansen in that fifth spot. And Cody Bowler at the back of the pack. Track still a little bit greasy as you see the cars sliding through the corners. So uh, trying to get the setup right going through there. Aaron Schoen's going to click off another lap in this heat race. So Aaron Schoen has a bit of a gap between him and Ryan Leadham. Leadham feeling a little bit of pressure from Justin Schoen. But Rowan Mason going from the outhouse forward as he has picked up two spots into that fourth place spot. Of course, right now you have Mike Hansen sitting in that fifth place spot. They're going to come down. See the green flag? No. Three to go. Aaron Schoen widening the gap between him and Leadham right now. This is the slowest, fastest Aaron Schoen's ever been. You watch him when he goes down the straightaway. He's lifting right after the flag stand. He knows he has to make the car turn before he can get back on the gas. And that's why he has a big gap between him and the 21 of Ryan Leadham. Two laps to go this time by for your race leader, Aaron Schoen. All these drivers being really finesse of that gas pedal as they slide through these corners. Aaron Schoen still your race leader. Ryan Leadham still in that second spot. Justin Schoen in fourth. Rowan, or third, I mean, Rowan Mason in fourth, Hanson in fifth, and Cody Bowler at the back. Right now, white flag is out, one lap to go. Aaron Schoen, way sideways, matched together back up, but he is gonna continue on through one and two on the low side with the lead, Ryan Leadham. He is trying to move that line up a little bit, as is Justin Schoen right now. But right now, coming through three and four, Aaron Schoen's gonna end up picking up that heat race win. Oh, a little sideways, but he's going to win it. Ryan Leadham is going to be second. Third's going to go Justin Schoen. Fourth place to Rowan Mason. And Mike Hansen is going to round out that top five. So they're slip sliding away right now. Still tap dancing. But during the features, the track should be really nicely rolled in. Multiple groove. It should be a really fast heat race. Oh, Cody. Cody Bulware manages to bring it back and save it. The front row lines up like this on the pole is going to be the eight of Travis Rammel, who is outside the 33 of Kyle Davis. Uh, 34 there of Ben Schneider on the outside of him. It looks like the seven. Yep. Uh, Fetterman, Tony Fetterman. Zach Anchorman, that 68 Z going to start shotgun on the field. RPMs come up. Spun bearing drops the green. We're racing. And Travis Rammel gets a good Kyle Davis. Gets a little bit mugged on the start. It's going to be Rammel leading with Ben Schneider's in second. Schneider's now underneath. Oh, and Rammel pushes way high to the wall. He's going to drop from the penthouse to the outhouse. Ben Schneider's now takes lead. Tony Fetterman second. Kyle Davis third. Zach Anchor fourth. And uh, Rammel falls back to fifth. Last week I was down in the pits and Travis Rammel was dancing on the hood of his car because he got his best finish ever in hobby stock. Didn't uh, look that well in the heat races he's going to pull in. But out front, though, Fetterman with a great run on the inside of Ben Schneider's. Oh, now Fetterman's going to push up. Uh, he's, uh, he looked him right in the eyes. But Ben Schneider's still your leader. Schneider's still with the race lead. Fetterman in second. Kyle Davis in third. And Zach Ankrum in fourth. Ben Schneider's going to come off a little two. Get a little bit sideways. Fetterman pushes up the track. Your running order will remain the same. Like I said, still greasy out there. Drivers trying to be real finesse with the gas pedal. And these hobby stocks don't have quick steer, so it's all hand over hand turning. So trying to get between that and the gas pedal, trying to keep these cars straight. So right now, Tony Fetterman on the outside, Schneider's not able to make it work. Schneider's is gonna get, get that lead back. Fetterman still sitting second, Kyle Davis. He's just sitting there in the catbird seat because the Fetterman and Schneiders get the battle in again, and they take each other out. He is going to be the one to benefit right now. Two laps to go for Ben Schneiders. Kyle Davis with that open motor. He's definitely going to have the, the car to beat if the, feet, if the track stays heavy in the feature. Those open motors, they really can twist up on a heavy track like that. But out front, all by himself now, trying to go slow through the corner, the 34 of Ben Schneider. Ben Schneider's going to look at the white flag here in that 34B. Tony Fetterman in the seven car running second. Kyle Davis trying to get a good run on that seven car as they come into turns one and two is Zach Ankerman, the 68Z at the back, yet in fourth. 
As he comes through three and four, the 34B Ben Schneider is going to take home your third and final Casey's General Stores Heat Race win. Looks like Tony Fetterman's going to be sitting there in second. Third's going to go to Kyle Davis. And little Zeppy, Zach Akram, going to round out the top four. So, gentlemen, yesterday, as part of a late birthday present, I took my uh, daughter to Kings Point Water Park in Storm Lake. While she was swimming, I was just kind of sitting there watching. And uh, you'll never guess who I had a 45-minute conversation with. Who's that? The sheriff? No. Tony Fetterman's brother. So... Talked to Tony Fetterman's brother for about 45 minutes. Talked about uh, Tony's racing and how much he loves coming up here. So nice to see uh, that the family, even, even when I'm not racing, I run in to the racing family.